Good afternoon, everybody. Um, time for another Chuck chat. Missed y'all in October. Apologies for that. Um, hopefully, you can see my screen. I always like to start off with a little humor. So, this is one of our trees. Be not afraid, my crispy child. Your nutrients will feed the earth and grow again in spring's rebirth. At last, you can clasp your destiny to fall a leaf and to rise a tree. But then a young lady sees the leaf and puts it in a scrapbook. I really feel for the trees this time of year, at least when I went through the change, nothing fell off. Hooray for fall, hee hee, yep, there goes my leaves. This is definitely my favorite time of year, says the pine trees. Never jump into a pile of leaves holding a wet sucker. That's good advice for everyone. You better get out of the sun, Ralph. Looks like you're done. He's, his turkey timer has popped. Um, just give you a little update on COVID-19 in Westminster. Um, really no changes um, over the last couple months. Resident numbers have stayed the same. The associate numbers have stayed the same. Um, we had uh, two active cases of associates back in early October. Um, those have all been resolved at this point. Um, total tested is over 11,000 tests that we've done and a 1.1% infection rate. 99.7% of our residents are vaccinated and 99.7% of our associates are vaccinated um, and most with boosters at this point. Um, COVID precautions remain in effect. Residents are not required to wear a mask if vaccinated. All others, including visitors and associates, must wear a mask at all times, regardless of their vaccination status. Uh, visitation is allowed with no restriction on the number of visitors. Group visits of more than two should occur in the resident's apartment home so that common spaces are reserved for resident enjoyment. Up to two guests are allowed in the dining room at breakfast and lunch only. Transportation services are back to full capacity with mask in place. So if you ride transportation services at Westminster, you need to have a mask on regardless of being a resident or not. Um, trips will slowly ramp up as the schedule and the capacity allows us. Um, mask must be worn in healthcare and assisted living. This includes independent living residents visiting those locations. Um, no guests still in the audience for activity programs. Uh, quarantine only for those who are symptomatic, traveled on a cruise or contact with a positive person. Uh, continue to practice, please continue to practice good hygiene, uh, washing and or sanitizing your hands often. If you touch an elevator button, sanitize your hands. If you touch a doorknob, sanitize your hands, things like that. Avoid gatherings outside of Westminster if possible. Continue to practice social distancing whenever possible. Stay home if you're ill. Wear a mask when outside of Westminster. And again, please wear your mask in the healthcare center or the assisted living. Um, speaking of healthcare center, there are some visitation guidelines. Visitation is limited to two visitors at a time um, in healthcare and assisted living. Everyone, including residents, must wear a mask at all times while visiting the assisted living. And please follow all precautionary guidelines, including mask, screening in, hand washing, and sanitizing. Um, please contact Health Services Reception Desk if you have any questions. All visitors, including IL residents, again, must screen in both the Arbor and the assisted living and wear a mask, including a temperature check. This this includes visitors, residents from independent living. <clears throat> Questions and answers. Um, can you please remind residents to pick up their laundry from the community washers and dryers timely? Yes, uh, please be courteous to your neighbors and remove your laundry from the machines timely. Um, can you please remind residents to place their trash and recycle out only on days it is picked up? It is unsightly and a trip hazard. Um, yes, please be courteous to your neighbors and place trash and recycle out only on days it will be picked up. If you're confused about the days that you need to place your trash or recycle outside, 
um, please contact reception desk and they'll get you that information. Will there be a bus available for the UT ladies home basketball games this year? Um, it's unlikely that we'll be providing that service. Um, there really hasn't been that much interest um, in, in going to those games. And so the bus capacity was not really enough to maintain that service. There is a need for maintenance on the Preston main stairwell on the fourth and fifth floors. Will this be addressed soon? Um, yes, we are aware of this issue and we have made the necessary repairs to the leak that caused the damage and identified a contractor to complete the work. Um, I believe that most of it has been repaired at this point. Um, what alternate method of sanitizing the swimming pool water is Westminster using since the saltwater chlorine generator is offline? Um, the chlorine generator was not offline, but it was not working as well as it needed to. We are occasionally adding liquid chlorine as needed to maintain proper levels. We also added a new chlorination system recently to improve the pool operation going forward. Uh, so that there should be noted improvement for that and it should be maintained going forward. Uh, question, why is the in-house channel 1890 not available on the first floor of the Windsor? It is available. Um, I understand this issue was resolved for the apartment you were referring to. Please, residents, if you are having problems with 1890, please submit a work order through reception for any issue um, so we can, we can work to solve those for you. Um, most of the time, those can be resolved rather quickly. And you may notice that new um, cable boxes are being installed throughout the building. There should be some marked improvement um, with those installations as well. Um, question, whose insurance, Westminster's or White Constructions, will pay for the water damage to the bistro area hall and the game room? Uh, White Construction will cover the cost of the repairs through the construction project contingency. This area was also included in the renovation plan. So, um, it, it was a, always part of the plan to renovate the space, so the water damage um, is, is responsible for the construction project. Question, in January check chat, you said the in-care list in our mailroom should be updated every two weeks. It's not happening. At least four independent living residents have moved into the Arbor Assisted Living in the past 30 days. Is there a reason why we aren't getting these updates? Um, the in-care list <clears throat> have been updated and are being updated every two weeks. Um, yes, unfortunately, not all residents have signed off on permission to share the information. So um, if they haven't signed off on permission, which about, oh, 45% of our residents have not, um, then those, um, those in-care lists can't have their names. So we have to get permission. I did ask health services to look at this and to make sure that these are being updated timely. Question, why is the Preston third floor laundry area light switch set on a timer that doesn't come on until after 6 a.m.? Um, there is no timer on these lights that um, schedule it to come on at 6 a.m. There is a motion sensor that activates the lights in this area. Um, upon someone walking into the room. Um, and it may turn off if it doesn't sense motion. So I've asked the team to look at this and investigate the sensor. Maybe we need to expand the time that it allows the lights to be on with no motion. And then also um, maybe it needs to be placed in another location or maybe the sensor is not sensitive enough. We're looking at that and we'll address it. Question, how many guests can residents have in their apartments, like for a Thanksgiving meal? Um, there is no limit on the number of guests you can have in your apartment to visit at this time. Can residents have visitors stay overnight with them? Um, yes, you can. Residents can have overnight guests. What restrictions apply? We do ask that they are registered through the health and wellness office. So, if you plan to have somebody staying overnight, just um, give health and wellness a call and let them know so we can kind of keep track of how many folks are staying overnight um, for the time being. And this is temporary 
as um, we continue to um, ratchet down restrictions and the stages in Austin continue to improve, then we'll be able to lift that restriction. But for now, I'd like you to notify Health and Wellness Office that you have an overnight guest. Um, we understand only two guests per resident are allowed for breakfast and lunch. Is that for the special Thanksgiving meal as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, that is correct. There is a limit of two guests per resident for breakfast and lunch and thanks, the special Thanksgiving meal as well. Just to provide a little bit of construction update, I'm not gonna go through all of the schedule, but I'd like to provide it to you so that you can have a look at it. We are making a lot of progress on the expansion. They, you may have noticed that they installed an elevator, an exterior buck hoist elevator um, to the Carlisle for its work. Um, a lot of progress is being made on the Windsor infill. The buck hoist has been removed from it. They have a working elevator within the uh, building now. So that was no longer needed. The tower crane came down. Some of you might have watched that on the live feed. Um, sprinkler pipe is being installed in the Carlisle parking garage. Um, they're also putting the exterior sheathing um, on the Carlisle building. Um, lots and lots of progress on, on it. Um, and then the Windsor infill is actually Majority of the sheetrock has been done. The, the taping and floating of the walls has been done. And I believe they've, they've uh, primed the first and second floors with a paint primer. So it's, it's really moving along really quickly. The cafe, the, the bistro um, is making steady progress. They've um, installed a lot of the sheetrock in that area, repaired the damage from the water. Um, the, Harris Bell Hall expansion. Um, the room has been brought together. Um, the expansion has been added to Harris Bell Hall. They've done the demo on the construction wall. Um, they've, they're preparing to install the flooring and the AV consultant has sent plans um, to them for the screens and things that will be necessary for the AV. Um, Carlisle expansion timeline highlights. So, you know, around the earlier part of November, um, the tower crane was finally removed. Um, we have heard that um, because of the rain damage, the bistro will be likely delayed until probably mid January. I'm um, pushing the team to do better than that. I'm hoping this is one of those times that they're going to underpromise and overachieve. Um, Harris Bell Hall edition will be completed hopefully at the end of December, if not the end of December, early January. Um, the next big thing uh, for us as a community is the, the Windsor exterior work should be completed at the end of November. You can see in the picture, this picture, I can get the picture to roll up here. There we go. Um, you can see that the majority of the exterior work, the facade work on the Windsor Tower facing the courtyard has been completed. Um, and it should be, like I said, it should, the majority of it should be completed by the end of November. Um, the Carlisle, this is what I was talking about with regard to the sheathing. It's actually progressed even further than this at this point. Um, this has taken a few days ago. Community update, um, we are looking at a solar project for our community and there's some really interesting incentives right now through Austin Energy. Um, we're looking at a system size of 308 um, kilowatts um, and, and year one production for a solar system for us would be around 450,000 kilowatts. Um, so really, um, an interesting project. The board asked the um, Freedom Solar folks to look at possibly adding solar to the Carlisle building as well. So they're doing some calculations on that and applying for reserve of the incentive 
rebates that the city is offering at this time um, for especially for non for profits such as us. It's really interesting um, when you look at what the solar project could bring um, to saving environment. Um, eliminating so you know the just our solar project if it works the way that it's supposed to would be taking 343,000 um, pounds of coal not having to be burned. Um, a 20 year savings on the project would be $725,000. Uh, uh, the life of the project would be about 25 years before it would need to be replaced. This, the solar panels would have a 25 year warranty and, and in 25 years it would save Westminster a million dollars in energy cost. Um, just really interesting uh, when you look at the benefits of solar power. And this is really a great opportunity for us as a community. I'll, I'll tell you more as time goes on. Uh, please make reservations, I'm sorry, dining services, reservations, delivery. Um, just some reminders, please make reservations for tables of five or more. Um, no reservations are required for four or less. Uh, no tables allowed for larger than seven seats at this time in the dining room. For parties of eight or more, please contact Sarah Faust for a reservation of the private dining room. Um, delivery is available from 7 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. Some more community updates. The AV consultant has been engaged for Harris Bell Hall and the in-house channel. Um, he, he's looking for um, improvement in all of the systems that we use for AV, and I'll be meeting with a group of residents to run some of those improvements by them, including Harris Bell Hall. Um, we have applied for a liquor license. If you haven't noticed the signs in front of the Carlisle and in front of the Preston, um, we have applied for liquor licenses. Um, hope everybody is supportive of this. Um, I think it's really gonna make a, a big um, impact on our ability to serve um, our residents even more. Um, we are required to post those signs for 60 days so, so people can call in and complain. Um, at this point, there hasn't been a lot of complaints, so I hope it stays that way. Um, Windsor LED project, the lighting project I talked about a few months ago is underway. Um, they've completed work on the third floor and the second floor at this point, point. they'll be moving down to the first floor soon. Um, and that's going very well. The keyless entry system that I've been talking about is coming soon. It'll likely be done in the first quarter of 22 as opposed to the last quarter of 21. The reason is we need to put an infrastructure in place. So we need some more power outlets um, and we need to run some um, power and ethernet cable, cat five cable for some WAPs specifically for the a WAP is a wireless access port or panel, um, and it's for the um, system to ride on, uh, separate from our Wi-Fi system. Um, new cable service boxes, as I talked about um, earlier, um, should be coming to all apartments. And with that is, is coming an expanded programming through Spectrum. Um, so look for that. And we have talked to them about making sure they're doing a good job. They're adding some cabling where necessary and really trying to do a good job throughout the community to improve our cable service. Um, you may have noticed we received the new dining room chairs finally. Um, thankfully, they're finally here. I uh, appreciate your patience with that. Um, new benches and some of the corridors you'll be noticing soon. They're supposed to arrive towards the end of November. And we're also reupholstering um, Harris Bell Hall chairs as, as a separate project before we open. Um, some reminders, please do not push the emergency stop buttons in the pool area unless there is a true emergency. This shuts down the filtration system, the temperature control, everything. The button is required by building code, that's why it's there, but it should not be used unless there is a true emergency. So please do not push that emergency stop button. Please pick up your laundry timely. When you're washing your clothes, set a timer to remind yourself if necessary. Um, 
Please follow the trash and recycle times and place outside your apartment on the day of pickup. If you have questions about when that is, call reception, they'll be happy to help you. Please do not flush briefs, adult diapers, depends, wet wipes, washcloths, towels down your toilet. Um, sounds like a common sense kind of thing, but apparently people are doing this and they're causing big time backups in our sewer system, which is a nasty subject. If somebody has to, has to talk about it. We need to stop doing this. It's really causing a lot of inconvenience and damage to residents' apartments. So please do your best to only put things down the toilet that are supposed to be put down the toilet. If you wish to have an overnight guest, please contact the health and wellness office. Um, and also when you're parking your car, please turn off your car, roll up your windows and lock your doors uh, when leaving your vehicle. Please do not leave valuables in your vehicle. Um, there have been a couple instances um, where cars been um, broken into and, and items stolen on our campus. Um, we need to do what we can to not um, set ourselves up for failure, not to be a temptation. Um, so let's all be good stewards, make sure that we're being safe. We have increased patrols. We have um, asked the police department to increase patrols of the area, um, but please do not leave valuables in your in your vehicle and make sure that you're locking your vehicles when you leave them. 2021 has been a really great year for Westminster and the residents. Um, we've had a lot of accolades and awards this year, um, not the least of men to mention is the residents that, that won the awards at the Leading Age Texas Arts Inspire. Um, conference and program. The um, 17 residents that we had reach 100 years young this year, um, the refinancing that we were able to achieve, the Fitch Triple B rating that we've continued to maintain, uh, today's show story, the nominated best of the best senior living community, uh, deficiency free survey for assisted living, that's 10 years in a row that we've been able to accomplish that. We just received official word that we have achieved top workplace in 2021. So that's the eighth year in a row for us as a community. Um, it speaks well of our leadership and, and the culture that we've created here at Westminster. We've raised over $75,000 for Alzheimer's Texas, um, which can help a lot of people in, in Texas. Um, and we will achieve LCS's national top Alzheimer's fundraiser, and I believe Alzheimer's Texas top fundraiser. And we also received the JD Power Award for senior living for the second year in a row. That's our life care services management company. Um, just a reminder, star cards can be used for any associate, including those in management and supervisor positions. Star cards can be turned into any reception desk or any member of management. Um, and it means a lot to the associates to get those cards of appreciation. Happy Thanksgiving. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast and a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Um, we really do have a lot of things to be thankful for and, and every year this time we're reminded to have an attitude of gratitude and really appreciate um, the moment and everything that we have to share together. Um, and thank you as always for making Westminster an extraordinary place to live and work.